Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to talk you through all of my favorite ways to get probiotics on low carb keto diet. Yesterday I talked you through a few of my favorite fats and today I'm talking you through some probiotics. And if you are new to my channel, I usually share three new videos every week, but I'm taking part in Vlogmas at the moment, so you can expect a new video every day in December from me. All kinds of low carb keto goodies, recipes, meal ideas, what I eat in a day, hauls and informational videos like today so make sure that you subscribe and join the yummy inspirations community love to have you part of the family well today it is a rainy day in Melbourne I don't know if you can hear the rain pelting down it's a little, the lights a little bit weird in my kitchen today and it's the perfect weather to discuss probiotics the there are so many amazing benefits of having probiotics in your diet from good gut health keeping the bad bacteria at bay. There's just so many reasons to have probiotics in your diet. When the weather goes all over the place, like it does here in Melbourne, hot one day, the next crazy and cold the next, it's good to have probiotics to just try and prevent getting coughs and colds and all kinds of things. And so with um, the low carb keto diet, there's loads of ways to still get keep your probiotics up that are low carb. Oh look, you can see my reflection, hi. <laughs> <laughs> distracted by my reflection in the kombucha there I am okay <laughs> so um, we're starting with these two which are known fermented foods kombucha and sauerkraut now they do have a slightly higher carb content than you might like but remember that the fermentation process eats a lot of the sugars but the nutritional label still has to show that the sugars are present so I am fine with every few days having a half a cup of this. It tastes like sparkling apple tizer, a sparkling apple juice, sparkling apple. It's amazing. Have half a cup of that um, every couple of days, and sauerkraut as well. Have it on the side of meals as I feel like it. It's more so my husband that's a sauerkraut fan. I have it in little bits and pieces, but it's sauerkraut and kombucha are great. You can make both of these yourselves. Um, I have did go through a phase of making kombucha but now I buy it it just didn't quite yet work out long term with me but sauerkraut as well I've made them it's really really easy to make both of these um so that is kombucha and sauerkraut I'm going to move through a few of my other favorite probiotics with you and these are a couple of yogurts that are actually low carb friendly. You need to read um, instruction and construction ingredient labels really carefully with low carb because you can be surprised at the additional sugars in yogurt. You can't just go and get an ordinary low fat or even full fat yogurt. They usually load it up with sweeteners and sugars and all kinds of other weird and wonderful ingredients. So um, these natural, this natural yogurt over here, which is a dairy one, and this is a coconut yogurt variety, the vanilla one, they're both lower in carb than most of their yogurt friends. So I include both of these, maybe a dollop with some strawberries or mix some chia seeds through it and a bit of cacao and you can have a bit of a yogurt chocolate pudding happening. Um, so both of these are just great natural probiotics and to include in small amounts, some good dairy probiotics in your diet, include in small amounts on the low carb diet. And another dairy probiotic option is kefir. This is organic probiotic kefir. It's um, <laughs> also just an awesome way. Um, the carbs, it says 2.3 grams per serving. But again, just like with, oh, here it is, just like with the kombucha and the sauerkraut, a lot of those sugars gets eaten up in the process. So um, having a half a cup or so of pro of kefir a day as well is excellent for gut health and there are a lot of other food options that do have some probiotic or some um some d fermented dairy like cheese and sour cream all kinds of cheeses they're fermented not as high as in probiotics as the other options i've shown you but they definitely do have some probiotic um, some probiotic properties to them and finally if you are really serious about your probiotics zoop, 
we've got some um some supplements these this is a practitioner only ultra floral restore but there's loads and loads of options to just speak to your doctor or your health professional it's not focusing for some reason about your about op options with supplementing to make sure um i don't supplement every day i actually did a video ages ago um i'll leave a link to it with all of the different supplements that i take and i don't take all supplements every day but um at the moment while the weather's been a bit crazy i've been making sure i take one of those a day just to keep um my probiotics keep my good bacteria in check so that is it let's just bring out some of my faves we've got all of these wonderful options for probiotics so you really can keep your good healthy gut bacteria alive and well while you're on the low carb diet look at that um, so thank you so much for watching this video today about all of my favorite probiotics. I'd love you to leave a comment and let me know what is your go-to probiotic or probiotics. What do you like to include in your diet to ensure that you keep your probiotics and your gut healthy? Look forward to reading your comments. And make sure if you're not already subscribed, you subscribe to my channel. I share all kinds of low-carb keto lifestyle videos, all kinds of recipes, meal ideas, what I eat in a day, grocery hauls. And I'm sharing a day, video a day every day in December. So make sure that you subscribe subscribe and join the yummy inspirations community and if you like the video i'd appreciate the like and thanks so much for watching and we'll see you again soon bye